10 on your side works really hard to keep you informed on crime in your neighborhood, but we've learned the Norfolk Police Department has a policy that limits our ability to keep you informed. Investigative reporter Chris Horn has more on this case of transparency troubles. Chris. Yeah, Regina, here's the question at the core of all this. Would you want to know if someone gets shot in your neighborhood, even though they're not killed or critically wounded? And what happens if this occurs on a weekend? We tried to get the police chief to explain this policy. It puts us in a bind because if they don't tell us what's going on, we can't tell you. There was a death in March. It is middle of July, and I'm just now finding out about it. Carissa Wheeler has a seven-month-old and a nine-year-old at her home on Montana Avenue in Norfolk. Less than a block away, back in March, police were investigating an undetermined death. So right down the street from me. Right. Do you know anything about it? <laughs> no. Wheeler didn't know about it, and our request for details went unanswered for 10 days as part of a police policy on releasing information to the media. That actually kind of scares me because there's children that live in the street. There's kids that live right across the street, right down the street that play in this neighborhood all the time. For example, if there's a shooting and no one was killed or critically wounded, Norfolk police will not notify the media. If we already know about it through other means, say a tip from you, the viewer, we can then ask police for more information. But often when we ask for more information, we get a delayed response. Yeah. Because we can't disseminate the information if we don't have the information. What do you think of a policy like that? I don't agree with it. It comes down to this. Would you want to know more about a mysterious death in your neighborhood? They should inform us so that we will know the situation in this neighborhood. How about a shooting where four people were injured, including a 17-year-old, even though no one died? That's what happened here on Bellevue Avenue in Ocean View. I think we need more information because a lot of children live in this area and it would be helpful to know, especially if parents are at work or not at home. But police released no information to us that night and it took us several days to get any details. That's crazy. It looked like all of y'all should be working together. The shootout happened right outside Rose Benthal's window and like us, she was left in the dark. I think it's terrible. I think the police should have let the public know. And after weekday business hours or any time on a weekend, even if we have a tip that something is going on in a Norfolk neighborhood, we won't be able to get information until the next business day unless it rises to a certain level of significance. Here are some of the ways other departments differ. In Hampton and Virginia Beach, a shooting victim doesn't have to have life-threatening injuries. Suffolk and Portsmouth Police enable dispatchers when the public information officer is unavailable. And Chesapeake has an on-call PIO to release information after hours. Norfolk police have made exceptions to their own policy on occasion, especially early this month on Madison Avenue in Spartan Village. Several children ages 6 to 16 were shot there, but none critically. More recently, and to his credit, Chief Boone personally followed up with us on a gang-related shooting and car chase. But residents wonder whether they'll be informed the next time bullets fly in their neighborhood. How important is it that we get informed so we can keep you informed? Uh, that's really important because if y'all don't tell us, we don't know. We asked the department who came up with this more restrictive policy. So far, no one wants to put their name on it because we have yet to receive a reply. We'll update you when we do. Chris Horn, 10 on your side.